Hey writers, I wanted to show you today that sometimes instead of starting a new piece when it's time for me to write, I like to go back to a piece that I've already begun working on and see if I can make it any better. Or see if I can change anything or add anything. So I started a piece a while back about walruses and so far I only actually have two facts. So I need to go back and add three more so that I have a super topic. But before I do that, I thought I might be able to make these pages a little bit better. So I'm going to I'm going to show you how I'm going to go in and show a, change a couple of pages that I've already written, see if I can make them better and give them even more detail so that my readers find out more information. Okay. So this page says walruses dive to the bottom of the ocean to find food. And I've just started my picture. I haven't even added the color yet, but here's my walrus. But one thing I know about walruses about finding food, is they go to the bottom and then they use their whiskers to help them find the food. So I'm gonna make a caption for my picture. I'm gonna say, whiskers, and I don't have to write it as big as I do up here. So let's see if I can get a little bit closer so you can really see what I'm writing. Let's see, whiskers help a walrus find his food. Okay, so see how I'm adding the caption next to the picture so you know what's happening right there. Okay, now this one says walruses have tusks. And you can see I drew my walrus and I have his tusks here, but I know another fact about walrus tusks. I know that walrus tusks can be three feet long. So I'm gonna put that here, I'm gonna put a caption Walrus tusks can be three feet long. And you know what? I need a label. I'm going to label the tusk. Okay, you know what else I could do? I could make a comparison here. I could add a picture of a turkey. There's my turkey. Okay, and a walrus. Oh goodness. Okay, a walrus tusk. Because walrus tusks and turkeys are both about three feet. So they're the same height, three feet and three feet. So I can make a comparison. A walrus tusk is about the same height as a turkey. That's kind of crazy. Okay, so writers, I want you to see if instead of starting a brand new page or brand new piece, see if you can go back into your writing and find something that you've already worked on. It might even be something you think you're finished with and look through and see, could you add any captions to the pictures? Could you add any labels to the pictures? Could you add any of those other text features that we've talked about? A close up or a cutaway, a map, anything to help your reader understand or to learn even more information about the thing that you're an expert on. Writers, I can't wait to see what you have to teach me today. Thank you for working so hard and for thinking about writing in a new way and being willing to, you know what you're doing? You're taking a risk because you have been practicing narrative, personal narratives since you were in kindergarten. And all of a sudden, you're ready and big enough and first grade enough to be writing nonfiction text. That's a pretty big deal. I'm really, really proud of you.